So, what's up guys, it's Wazulu. Today we're talking about Madeleines. That light, spongy cake that you get from France, and they've got a very unique, shell-looking characteristic. I'm gonna show you how to make them. All right, so today we're making Madeleines. They're from Northern France, they're very simple and taste Fantastic. It take a maximum of nine minutes in the oven. The butter, you have no idea. It's incredibly easy. You've probably already got the ingredients in your house that things stand. But one thing you will need for this recipe, and you may or may not have already, is a Madeline mold. They're not too expensive, so click the link in the description down below and get one for yourself. And now, let's get making some Madelines. So first, we're gonna sort out the dry ingredients. So you wanna to sift together 68 grams of all purpose flour, and two grams of baking powder. Once it's all nicely sifted, add a small pinch of sea salt equaling to around a gram's worth and whisk it together until combined and set on one side. Now, get yourself a saucepan and combine together 66 grams of unsalted butter, nine grams of soft light brown sugar, and finally, nine grams of honey. And heat it up over medium low heat until all the butter has completely melted and the sugar is completely dissolved as well. And now for the eggs. You want to get yourself a generous sized bowl that's got plenty of room in it. And when I say plenty, I mean plenty. As the eggs will double in volume. And also, I should have already said this, make sure the bowl is heat proof. And you'll want to crack in two whole eggs, then give them a quick whisk together and then add in 55 grams of cast sugar and whisk it again until all the sugar is fully incorporated. Now fill a pan up with some water, but make sure it's only about an inch deep, so it should come up to your first knuckle, and heat it up over medium low heat until it starts to steam. And once it starts steaming, place the bowl with the eggs in on top, but make sure the water does not touch the bottom of the bowl, as that would start to cook the eggs, which will make them into scrambled eggs, and that's definitely not what we want. We don't even want to cook the eggs, we just want to dissolve the sugar. And the best way to find out is just to stick your finger into the eggs, and yes, it will be sticky. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm sorry. But anyways, on a serious note, if it's smooth, the sugar's dissolved. If it ain't smooth, it ain't dissolved. It's as simple as that, brother. And then just remove from the heat. And then, using an electric whisk or a stand mixer fitted with a whisk attachment, beat together over high speed. You can do this by hand, but it will take you forever. So I would not recommend it. Until it's double in volume and it's nice and thick. This is exactly what you're looking for. Now get yourself a rubber spatula and add in half the dry greens and fold together until combined. Then add in the remaining of the dry greens and fold that together until combined. But don't overmix it. Now if your butter mixture is a bit cold, reheat it until it's nice and warm. Then pour the butter mixture into the batter in two stages and fold it in. By adding in two stages makes it a bit easier to incorporate, in my opinion. And that's basically it, that's the batter done. But I like to finish it off by adding one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste because I like the specks of vanilla throughout the batter. But that is totally optional. And just fold that in two. And now transfer the batter into a smaller bowl and cover with cling film and make sure the cling film has direct contact with the batter to avoid any skin forming because that is not what you want. And you're gonna put this in the fridge to rest for a minimum of three hours or overnight. Resting the batter makes a big difference to the end result. And now the time has come, this is when you need the Madeline mold. So like I said before, if you want to make Madeleines at home, you need a Madeline mold. So if you haven't got one, link in description. And you're going to lightly grease the mold with some unsalted butter, then lightly coat them with some all-purpose flour, and you just towel off the excess. And that's it. And pop that brother into the fridge to allow the butter to solidify. The reason for this is once the Madeleines are baked, they'll pop out the mold easily. And now, it's bake day. Get your butter out of the fridge, and now you've got two options. You can either spoon the batter into the mold, or my preferred option is to fill up a pine bag. You've got much more control doing it this way, it's more precise as well. If you decide to do the pine bag method, make sure you remove as many air bubbles as possible. And now we're almost ready to bake the madelines. First, get your baking tray that you're gonna be sitting in the madeline mold on during the baking, and place it into the oven, set to 175 degrees Celsius, but place it into the oven upside down. The reason for this, as the madeline mold has an uneven surface, it will bake the madelines a lot more evenly doing it this way and fill the madeleine moulds up about halfway, which will be approximately one tablespoon equal to 14 grams. I wouldn't recommend adding any more batter than that, otherwise the may will flow in the oven. And then you're just gonna gently tap the mould off the bench to evenly disperse all the air bubbles so the madeleines rise evenly. And bake at 175 degrees Celsius for about seven to nine minutes until a light golden brown color is being achieved on the top and a toothpick inserted into the center comes out completely clean. 
And halfway through the baking process, depending on how even your oven is, you may or may not need to rotate the mold. It's just so that they bake a bit more evenly. And like I said before, the way to know when these are baked is stick a toothpick right into the center, and if it comes out clean, they're done. They're baked. It's as simple as that. Then remove from the oven and immediately tip them out on a wire rack. And now you've got two options. You can either eat these straight away whilst they're warm, or you can let these cool down at room temperature. But that comes down to preference. They're tasty no matter what. And they will last in an airtight container at room temperature for about two to three days. If you enjoyed today's video or you learned something, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you.